Hey guys, this is OG Gaming, and I'm gonna do a video here, and I'm gonna try to get it done as fast as I, fast as I can. So bear with me. And um, now I'm gonna touch on two. This is like a. I'm, I'm gonna put on my granny panties on and and explain to you a little bit what's going on, right? Now. And some of my other videos, I made a video concerning, like, hey man, you know, I want to experience the gaming PC side, you know, because I've been a, I've been a gaming console for a very long time. So I decided to call Dell. You know, I called Dell, and after there, was, I was going to buy me a computer, and I was going through all the everything I wanted, and then I decided, okay, I'm going to go with the Alien X fifty one R three. And so the guy took the order down and everything, and there was a problem with the order. Okay, and then I got a notification from my bank saying I've been overcharged twice. And this happened to have been on like on a Friday, and it was late Friday, and the banks were closed now, and, and, and I couldn't do nothing until Monday. But I did call my bank Saturday, and we were going through all the transactions. So they saw one pending charge and another one being charged. I said, well, Dell's really screwed me up. Over. So I call all day Saturday to try to reach somebody from Dow after I got off the phone in the bank. Now after that, I end up calling uh, Dell to speak with somebody. I got nowhere fast. So Sunday, pretty much they're closed. I mean, with that part of Dell. So Monday came along. I tried calling them again, and I ended up getting somebody, and I kind of got the runaround. You know, they were just pushing me around, putting me on hold, everything. I said, you know what, screw these people. You know what I'm mean? doing? If I can't get nobody's attention, because I'm just trying to go the way, the right way, so I just, you know what, I'm just going to cancel the order. Cancel the whole entire order. Because they already screwed me. I couldn't use my car for the weekend or nothing. So, I end up calling them, canceling it. They want to know why I'm done. I'm, you know, and I explained to them what happened. You know? Took me an hour just to do that part of it. So now that that was done, I get on the I get on the phone. Uh, I mean, excuse me. I get on the computer, and now I am at Amazon, and I'm going through their computer. So I decided to get the same computer that I got from Dell X51 R3. I didn't have to wait for two weeks because it was already built. So. Therefore, uh, I get the computer within two days, and I got it all set up, and you know, and then, well, I try to get it set up. I got it out of the box, rather, and then I had problems with the drive, so I called Dell up and had a drive, or uh, gaming card, the, the, the gaming card was not responding, it was bad. So I end up getting a box from them, sending it out. Now, getting it back, to now I'm getting out of the box and I hear this rattling sound and I'm thinking wow rattling sound on um, you know they just done replacing the graphics card the game you know the, the gaming card on there so I end up basically um, telling them this this is not right so they said we'll send another box out we'll send you know we'll go ahead and take it back to see what the rattling sound. Okay, cool. I got that situated. And then uh, I just said to myself, you know, I want to check the optical drive because I haven't done that yet. So I put a, I put a, a, a CD in there, just a regular, regular CD. Didn't work. I couldn't get the, the disc to read. So I called them. They troubleshooting and they add that to the ticket. So now everything's going to get fixed again. And then, then I end up talking with somebody from Dell. Okay. Hey, look. Uh, if we can't get it right, we'll go ahead and replace it. And we'll build you a new one. So, all right, that sounds good. In the back of my head, I was thinking, well, let's see how true you are. If they're really going to do it. So, the box comes. I send it off. And now I'm just waiting. Okay. Then I get a call from Dell. Because remember, early on, I said I canceled the, uh, the computer. And so I told them what happened. This is what, I, you know, I got the run around trying to get a hold of you guys and said no one, no, no, no one can help me. So I canceled the order. You know, he messed me up big time. So to get him back, 
I decided to just cancel because he loses his commission. So I get the computer back home and now it's working. But first I get it out of the box and what do I hear? Rattling sound again. And I say, you know what, I'm done. So I hooked everything up. The optical drive works, the gaming card works, everything's working just fine, but the rattling sound. I said, uh, I, I, I'm done. And so they agree to take it back and they're gonna rebuild me a whole Alienware X51, which is right over there. It's right there still. So then I get an email stating, okay, this is your old computer, these are all the specs. On the other side of the email is the new replacement, which is the Aurora R5, and all of the specs. I said, cool, I'm happy with it, you know. I, the Alien X51 was not um, water cool, it was air fan, fan cool. Just like the Aurora here, it's fan cool. And that sucker is loud. That, that uh, It's very loud, very loud, when it goes off and on. You know, it's louder than my PS4, put it that way. So, all right, so they built it. I get the Aurora R5 yesterday, and I hooked everything up. Uh, I downloaded the drives. I actually had, had a little help from uh, Dell. I was having issues with something. And uh, so I called Dell, they did a remote, a, a remote control figured there and then I mentioned about the that uh, I wanted to see if the optical drive was working oh well okay man so we installed a new we update the drives for the graphics card and now we're working on the optical drive graph I mean optical drive drives to get that going guy goes okay it's working I have great the following morning which is today of this video Saturday, uh, I put a CD in there and it didn't work. I called them up, they're troubleshooting everything, and guess what? I have to take the Aurora R5 back to Dell so they can work on it. They're telling me that they're going to send somebody to come to the home and install it and we'll take it from there. And I know what they're going to tell me because they, they said that before. They're not, because my warranty does not cover house and home service for the home. Mine's just a mail-in one. Okay. Now, this is what I don't understand about Dell. I know they try to make it right. They, they gave me this big old monster, a mid-tower. Okay. I'll let you guys take a look at it real quick. There it is right there. I got it's kind of pausing right now our sleep mode but anyway back to what I was saying let me just turn this okay so now now I'm thinking I was telling the technician or the, the, the troubleshooting guy I said hey look bro and it was Joshua I go why why would Dell work on these, build these computers, okay? And they just go grab an optical drive. Now, it could be a Blu-ray, or it could be just your standard optical drive. They just throw it in there. That's it, they hook everything up, they got power, it's good. They don't do no installing. They don't install no drives. It doesn't do, they don't check it. They don't get it ready. They don't do nothing other than they put it together, okay? Because when I got it here yesterday and today, it still didn't work, you know? You got it going yesterday, but somehow when I shut it down for the evening, it, when the next morning, today, it didn't want to work. And I was asking him, why does Dell do that? You know, his answer was, they can't check every 50,000 computers making sure the optical drive was, was running, making sure it's working. But I told him, that's wrong, bro. You're so far off for saying such a thing because number one, you work for Dell. People are paying good money to have a computer built. Now, it makes a whole lot of sense 
to put the optical drive in there if the customer is requesting that making sure that it runs so they have to put it physically put a disc in there and put a movie or whatever it is that they have and make sure it's running before it leaves the shop oh you're absolutely right Danny you're right oh yes you're right but then why is it why is it that it's not working if they would have done that at the shop this would never have happened I would not be having this conversation with Joshua and I think it was kind of vague and dumb for him to say well they can't check every everyone I mean, they have to that's their job they're building it why not right it's like going to a go go you're going to a tire store to buy new tires yeah they take the tire off and then they put the tire on but you gotta you know they put the new tire on the rim but yet you have to install your tires it doesn't work like that you're a customer I'm a customer they should have done that which really pisses me off now I'm gonna get back to about Amazon it's too much coincidental, too much, it's, I don't know, man, I can't really put my finger on it, but I'll tell you this, I buy the computer from them, it has a bad graphics card, okay, and then it has an optical drive problem. What are the, what are the odds of that happening? You know, it's like buying a computer without a motherboard. Or putting a a bad motherboard. I know there's a third party vendor. Who's to say that they took out the good graphics card and they probably had an old crappy one laying around that had issues. Clean it up, slap it in there. We'll never know. Same with the optical drive. We'll never know. But the customer that buys that one, well, he's going to be stuck. And that's that and I kind of feel like Dell, I mean not Dell, but I kind of feel like Amazon. I think uh, it's not really Amazon's fault, but it's a third party vendor that maybe took out all this good stuff and they had faulty stuff laying around and they take off the good stuff and you know and they maybe put it in their own. I don't know. I can't call it. But it's just it's just too odd. Two coincidences where this is wrong and that's wrong back to back, you know. But anyway, folks, I, I think I made my point. You know, I really made, I think I made my point. Now, I'm going to be waiting until Tuesday because Josh is going to one that he's the one that's going to be working with this issue here. And this way I could uh, see if they're going to send a technician. I really don't, I really don't believe they're going to send a technician here because well, you know what what the problem is is it doesn't cover my warranty I, don't, I didn't pay for that but I think with all the crap that I've gone through from the Alien X51 and this Aurora R5 I think they at least owe me that you know wave a buck you know just wave it so I can get it done and get back to what I paid for gaming anyway man I think I had my granny panties on a little too long and I'm going to go ahead and end this video. It's a little over 10 minutes long and if you stay at the end of the video, I appreciate it and uh, just be careful, man, if you're going to buy off from, you know, Amazon because there, you know, the people are buying third parties, you know, they, they do sell to third party vendors, man, and just hope that they're, they're, you know, I just hope that they're on the up and up, man, because like myself and many others may get burned and it, you know, we pay good money to have these things done. But just one thing before I leave, and I, I hope that, you know, somebody from Dow looks at the video and say, hey, look, you know, they check the motherboard before it goes out. They check the graphics card before it goes out. Why can't they just check to make sure the DVD, I mean, the optical drive is running and working before it goes out? You know what I'm saying? Because that will solve a whole lot of problems and they'll get a better reputation. Reputation. Repetition? Repetition? A better rep than me calling and wasting valuable time because I could be doing other things around the pad rather than be on a phone for 40 minutes. Troubleshooting. 
Anyway, guys, this is OG Gaming. I am out, and I'll catch you on the next one. And I'm going to keep you guys updated on this uh, optical drive. Let's just see if they're going to send a technician into the home. Otherwise, I'm going to have to send it back out. I'm out, and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Later.